Wright Brothers. From a very long time ago, people have wanted to fly in the sky. How happy we would be if we could fly in the sky! How can those birds fly in the sky? It was the Wright brothers who made it possible to realize this dream. Clatter, clatter! Young children Wilbur Wright and Orville Wright were making a sledge on the basis of their design drawing. If you make it this way, you can reduce the resistance of the wind. The Wright brothers marveled at their mother's remarks. Wilbur and Orville liked making things. There were more building tools than tableware in the kitchen, but their mother Susan encouraged them. His father, who was a church minister, bought presents for them whenever he returned home from his trips. My boys, this is a flying toy for you. When a small toy was flying, Wilbur and Orville marveled at it. But it couldn't make the two curious brothers always happy. There was a kite flying contest in full swing in the village. The Wright brothers made their kites instead of buying ones. Their kites were flying higher than the kites sold by stores, so other children competed in trying to buy their kites. They bought new building materials with the money they had earned by selling their kites. Wilbur suffered a serious injury while playing ice hockey when he was a high school student. After all, he dropped out of school and received medical treatment at home. Wilbur, everyone has his own talents. You and Orville will be great inventors. After hearing his father's remark, Wilbur pictured his hope in his mind. Wilbur and Orville helped their father publish newspapers, but they became tired of folding newspapers, so they invented a newspaper folding machine. They were very happy because it was their first invention. The Wright brothers continued to invent new things. They made a printing machine and engaged in the printing business. They also made a lot of money by running a newspaper company, which published the newspaper Sub News. When Orville was 18 years old, their mother Susan died of tuberculosis. Daddy, I'll drop out of school. Orville said this to his father because he was unable to get over the shock of his grief over his mother's death. All right, Orville, but you must never be lazy. Orville's father trusted him. Later on, the Wright brothers got interested in bicycles. They closed down their printing business and set up a bicycle store. They not only repaired bicycles, but also built and sold bicycles. Soon their bicycles became famous and their business grew more prosperous. Orville contracted typhus, a terrible disease, in 1896. His elder brother Wilbur and younger sister Catherine cared for him faithfully. While lying on his sickbed, Orville read a newspaper article that Lilienthal had died after falling down to the ground during his glider flight. At that moment, Orville thought of the flying toy his father had bought for him and his brother. Yeah! That's it! He got out of his sickbed and made up his mind to build an airplane with his brother Wilbur. Since they knew nothing about an airplane, they studied a lot about it. Several years passed, and the Wright brothers made a kite modeled after a glider and experimented with it. After they were able to pilot it using strings connected to it, they built a life-size glider and experimented with it in 1900. But their research did not end. They made money by selling their bicycles and invested it in making airplanes. Many people made cynical remarks about the Wright brothers, but they only devoted themselves to their research. One day, they completed their third glider fitted with an engine. They attached vertical and horizontal tails to it for the sake of its stability. 
they experimented with it on the Kitty Hawk Beach. And at last, the two brothers successfully built a glider they were able to pilot. Still, the Wright brothers were not conceited and attached a 12-horsepower gasoline engine and propeller to their airplane. Although many people tried to make airplanes at that time, the performance of their airplanes was poor compared with the Wright brothers' airplanes. At last, they made an airplane that was able to fly through an engine instead of a glider. As this invention became known, some French and British people wanted to buy their airplane. But the Wright brothers did not sell their airplane, but continued their researches. When the news of their flight experiment became known, a great number of people flocked to the place of experiment. Vroom, vroom. Their airplane started to fly in the sky. Everyone shouted in surprise. Wow! It's flying! It's flying! One minute? Ten minutes? Thirty minutes? The airplane stayed in the sky for a long time. At last, the United States Army decided to provide the Wright brothers with financial support for experiment expenses in 1907. Airplanes will evolve more in the future, and the 20th century will be the age of airplanes. They said so positively while devoting their enthusiasm to making airplanes. Although the Wright brothers didn't receive regular education, they were great inventors who realized people's dream to fly in the sky.